Hey you guys, it's Denise at My Luxury First and today I just wanted to show you my clip-ins. So I've already clipped them in, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what 200 grams looks like. So this is 200 grams and it's about 20 inches. This is how it looks, this is how thick it is on my head. Mainly I've been wearing my own hair and I've also been just clipping in like little pieces here and there but i haven't actually put the whole thing in my head so today was my first time putting like my whole 200 grams in my head and i made the clippings myself so um, i noticed that in the past when i've been selling the 200 grams that a lot of my customers don't know how much hair it is or if it's going to be enough hair for them and so usually i'm the type of person that doesn't wear a lot of thick hair on my head as far as clippings go i will i can just be cool with 70 grams or 100 grams because i feel like it makes it look more real because not you know all the time i don't want everybody to know that i had a piece here and there and i always need to put in a piece because my hair is thin but this time i put in some black ones so um this here is my real hair and i just straightened it to try to match it you know match the texture i just have like a little bitty part here and basically this is how it looks and this is an up close of the hair this hair is actually um, European Remy hair and obviously my real hair is not European but I do have my hair pressed out. I tried to bone straight it. So there you go. I have this and then you can still like since my hair is a different color I was a little bit like hmm, didn't know if I wanted to use this color or not because you'll probably, probably be able to tell if somebody's like really up in there and your head being nosy they will be able to tell for me but this is how it looks and then this is how it's thick thicker at the top and then gets thinner at the bottom so it's like that and then if i turn around this is how it looks yeah so it's uh human hair remy human hair and so you can wash it blow dry it curl, crimp, straighten, and all of that. And I think I'm gonna show you guys like me curling a little bit at the top. Let me heat up my iron and then I'll be back. I had just bought this at um, Walmart, but on my extensions, it didn't really wave like I wanted to. So this hair, um, this wasn't that long. This, the one that I have in my head now is 20 inches. And this one was probably like 16 inches or something because I wanted it to like match more my hair length and stuff to make it look more real and everything so anyways this is some hair that I'm going to just test out with this waver real quick to show you guys how it reacts as you can see the hair is a little bit wavy because I've been waving it but I want to see like this is I want you guys to see what's popping so when you clamp it between the clamps you hear a little something something you hear a little sizzling that's normal you can either um wave your extensions your clippings before you put them in your head or you can wait until you put them in your head and then wave them i'm going to get some of this hair and then i'm going to wave it so i think i'm gonna leave my hair straight but i'm gonna wave just a little bit so i gotta part some of the hair i think i'm gonna do this part this section first I'm gonna get a little bit of this serum. It's oily, it's clear. So that's the straight hair. This is the waver. And basically this is my hair blended with that. I'm gonna start here and put it in the waver. And I don't know, maybe you hold it for 15, 20 seconds. I don't want this shit burning off. Ooh, shit, it's hot. That's how that looks. And then I'm gonna go down a little bit more maybe if i left it for like 15 seconds at a time it would be cracking put some oil and the reason why i'm putting the um, serum is basically to protect from heat damage which really for hair extensions i don't really care about heat damage because it's hair extensions i could just get some more but with my real hair i care but i mean of course your extensions will last longer if you protect them so and I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom because I still want it to be sleek. I'm just hollering at the top 
so that way I can have some texture. Hey. So let me holler at this front part again, real quick. Have y'all ever rocked your hair like that? Like the front is wavy or curly and then the rest of it is straight? So, so far I think that this works I, you know, like, I don't know, I kind of had a different something in mind, but um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, but it's okay. All right, but basically this video was to show you guys how 200 grams looks. So that way you can figure out if you feel like you'll have enough hair. I hope that you guys liked this video and that I hope that I taught you guys something. And don't forget to follow me on I, My Look Tree First um, on Snap. And you can follow me, My Look Tree First, on IG. And subscribe, okay? So you can see some more craziness. This isn't crazy, though. Oh, yeah, this is how it's going to look in a ponytail. Alright y'all, I'm out. Alright you guys, I finished my hair. This is how it looks. Finished my makeup so as you can see I look better. And without my hat, the 